just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. All right, the yeah. next lab you're going to be doing is the wastewater lab. You're going to be analyzing wastewater for a few various things. Um, you'll have four different types of wastewaters. You'll have uh, MM stands for mid marsh, IF stands for inflow, OF is outflow, and DM is deep marsh. You're going to work in a group of two. You and your partner are only going to analyze one of these waters. It could be any one you want. You'll grab whichever one. This is a one liter container. You need 500 milliliters of liquid. So this here should be enough for two groups. Um, you may see chunks in your water. You might see a dead bug or some plant material or some dirt. That's fine. That's normal. You're going to want to include that in your analysis. So you and your partner grab this. I would say grab your 500 milliliter volumetric flask, add exactly 500 milliliters to that, and you'll know there's enough left over in here for the other group. The first thing I would do, you need to do four different things. The first two I say will have to be done in that order, three and four could be switched. You could do four first or three first, doesn't matter. You sure about that? You sure about that? You'll need to find the pH of your water, so you'll take a small amount of that water that you sampled, find the pH of that, and then you can reinstitute that, reuse that water. After that, you're going to need to filter the water for non-dissolved species. Um, you're going to use your Buchner funnel again, do a vacuum filtration like you did previously for the gravimetric analysis. I didn't do sh I didn't do this! Filter paper, and we will have already put that in the oven for you, so that'll be baking in the oven, so it'll be 100% dry. You and your partner, when you're ready, get your filter paper out of the oven, get its dry mass, put it in the Buchner funnel with your um, vacuum flask, filter out that 500 milliliters through there. And that's where you're gonna get out whatever that dirt, plant life, bugs, whatever it happens to be, whatever those non-dissolved solids are. And then your last two portions are going to be a phosphate determination. We're gonna have a phosphate reaction mixture in the hood for you. You should have test tubes in your cabinet portion of your drawer. You'll line up those test tubes, make your series of standards. We're actually gonna be really nice. We'll have a stock phosphate standard solution for you. So it'll be a really high concentration of phosphate and you'll need to dilute that down with your partner to make your series of standards. You'll add the reaction mixture, you'll wait, and then you should see those change differing shades of blue, some darker and some lighter, of course, depending on the concentration of phosphate. And you'll do the same thing with some portion of your water. To do the absorbance of that, you'll use that Spectrogenesis 20 again, which you used previously for the iron experiment. We'll have a couple of those around the room make a calibration curve and figure out what's the concentration of phosphate in your water. And then the last portion, if you'll join me over here, or the, technically the third thing that's set up in your instructions. Write that down, write that down! You can do this last or you can do it third, is the determination of dissolved solids. And for this, you'll use the conductivity probe. This will actually be set up in this room on this computer. This is what the software is gonna look like. You'll just hit Collect when you're ready. Go ahead, running it through the algorithm. You can see very small amount of signal, but of course it's actually tracking. We are getting data points here. We'll have a concentrated solution of sodium chloride for you. Again, a concentrated stock. You'll make your series of dilutions from that. You'll spike your water sample and then come in here with the conductivity probe and measure those. And that's for the standard additions plot Make sure you're extra aware of how a standard edition plots work. You do have a pre-lab question that deals with that standard edition plot. So similar to the pre-lab question is how you're gonna work up this data. Um, you have two weeks to do this experiment. If you get all four parts done with your partner uh, on the first week, you don't have to come in the second week. That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's the GOAT! If you feel like you're rushing or you just can't get it done, don't kill yourself, don't break anything. Um, get three of the four things done, come in the second week, wrap up that fourth portion there. I think that's everything. It's kind of a culmination of everything you've done. This experiment shouldn't be all that difficult, and the procedure will cover anything I might have missed. We'll see you soon.